Hey guys, Railroad Sniper here again with another uh, tool overview. Today we're going over a combo set, like stuff you might use together. So we got the Klein, let's see what its name is, NCVT-3P, it's a voltage tester, uh, non-contact voltage tester, and also it's got a little flashlight on the tip, so we'll showcase that later. And we're also going over the Klein RT-210 outlet tester. Now we won't be able to test the GFCI function because for whatever reason uh, this dorm has no GFCI outlets. So I can't really show you that functionality. You know, not even by the vanity do they have an, a GFCI outlet. They just have a regular outlet and it's like raised up above where you'd probably get water in it, you know. So, oh well, maybe uh, I'll do like a short uh, video later on, like, you know, one of the YouTube shorts as a follow-up, show you an actual GFCI outlet uh, like we have at home or something like that. Anyway, so I guess let's go over the outlet tester first. So once again, Klein RT210. GFCI tester, as you can see, it's got a little button there. That's how you test the outlet. If you press that, it I think it like shorts it out or something like that. It causes the, uh, the outlet to trip. So that'll that'll let you test. In addition to the test button on the outlet, it's got all your uh, codes for what means what. So if you've got open ground, the center light will light up. If you've got open neutral, this, uh, well if you're looking at it, as you're testing it, it'll be on the right. But, uh, so the right orange LED will light up. If it's open hot, nothing will light up at all. If you got hot, what's that even say? Oh, okay, that's abbreviated. If you got hot and ground reversed, the outside, that's a little red light in the right. Uh, orange light will light up. If you got uh, hot and neutral reversed, then the red light in the center, orange light will light, light up. And if it's correct, both the orange lights will light up and no red light at all. So, I can do a little demo of this. So, let's see. I'll have to put you in my hand real quick. Let's see, what can I unplug? I'm gonna plug this power strip because all that's hooked up to it is my laptop. So saw this outlet was working, got my laptop plugged up to it. Laptop's not charging. And the little green light is off. And the power switch is set to on, so plug it in. You can see the outlet is functioning correctly. So that's pretty cool. And I think that this outlet doesn't work. So I can show you what it means if it doesn't. I mean, I don't even know if that means it's open hot or if it just doesn't work. Theoretically, it means it's open hot, but there also could, I don't know, something else could be broken. And this light just turns the light on or off. It doesn't change that, so. So that's that. I can't really show you any other conditions, sadly, since I don't have, uh, you know, I can't really work on this. <laughs> College would probably get mad at me for that. Okay. That was the outlet tester. And second piece of equipment, this Klein NCVT 3P. As I said, it's got a flashlight on it. It's pretty handy. You know, you can stick it in your mouth or something like that. It is IP67 water and dust resistant. So. When you take the battery cap off, it's got a little O-ring right here. Let's see if I can show you better. Let's see if I can focus on that. There we go. All right, so you can see the little O-ring that seals up the battery compartment. And it takes two AAA batteries. It comes with these uh, Kendall alkalines from the factory. At least that's what came with mine. And, uh, right in there and if you start to get low battery or no battery or something like that and I think it's just low battery this tester will like start to uh, it'll like make a noise when uh, you turn it on or the LEDs will flash a certain color I believe okay so to turn it on you press it and uh, for me it automatically started up in the 12 to 1000 volt range and if you want it to be a little less sensitive I know some people get false positives with the uh, lower range. You can set it to 72,000 volts. And uh, as you can see, when I switch it, it beeps. 
and it lights up the corresponding setting. And as you can see, when you hold it, hold on, hold on, I gotta figure this out. You hold it to turn it off. And you see that this red LED blinks for a little bit. That's like the self -test, battery self-test, I believe. And it'll be green if your batteries are in good condition. So I'll show you this thing in operation real quick. I'm gonna put it on the 70 to 1000 volt setting. Once again, I'll show you this little outlet here that we know works. You can see I stick it in there. If I stick it in the hot one, it, it lights up just fine. Now, if I turn it to the lower voltage setting, it'll be more sensitive. It should be more sensitive. See, it blinks and flashes blue when uh, it detects the lower voltage. And it's solid red and solid tone when it detects the higher voltage. Now you can see it does pick up something over there. It's just so low that it doesn't register otherwise. And something else is kind of interesting, I thought. Hold on. Well, I might not be able to get to show y'all. Let's plug this in first, because that's probably why. So you can see it detects even the voltage from this power cable and from the power brick. I thought that was pretty cool. And uh can use the flashlight. Let's go into the dark area so I can show you the, the function of the flashlight. Pretty bright, you know, perfect for just, uh, you know, dark uh, outlets, you know, take the plate off, or you gotta turn the breaker off, and that was just me turning this off, but it's perfect for like when you gotta turn a breaker off and you don't uh, have any light, you know, that that's like the perfect amount of light. Like I said, you can stick it in your mouth or something, it's not gonna get damaged because it's got the water resistance. Anyways, I've used this before, right, just around the house, you know. I know a lot of professionals don't necessarily like to use these, or they use these in conjunction with a multimeter, because the multimeter actually, like, physically touches the outlet. And it's a more surefire way of detecting if current's still flowing. But, um, let's see. But, like, I've, I've had decent luck with it. I do have a multimeter as well, though that I'll could use in the event that I, I wanted to. Maybe I'll do a review on that in the future. But uh, let's see if there's any, I just wanna make sure I don't leave any loose ends real quick. If there's an older version of this sensor. Uh, I think it's like the NCVT-1 or dash two, maybe both of those. There's actually a recall on those. So if you own any of those, you wanna get them returned because they don't have that battery safeguard. Like you won't know if it, uh, you won't basically you won't know if the bat if the device is functioning if the batteries are low, and you might got to use it think the current's off and get a nasty zap. So make sure you either upgrade to this one or get a different tester if you've got that one. Like I said, they got the recall out on that. Um, let's see. This is Cat Four One Thousand Volt Rated. So that's pretty cool. It's a double insulated tool. Notice that by the square within the square. One thing I like about this tool is it's got the nice slim tip for sticking in the outlet. A lot of tools, uh, some of the other tools I've seen have a, they've had like really fat tips. I'm sure those are good for certain other applications, but for my purposes, that works great. It doesn't, the thin tip. Another thing about this tester, you can use it to test a two prong outlet. It says you can only test it with a three, but you can test it with a two prong. It just will say like open ground or something like that because you know the grounding pin is this one and the two prong outlets only have the hot and neutral. So that's been this overview of the Klein RT210. Once again, outlet tester, GFCI outlet tester, and the Klein NCVT 3P non contact voltage tester plus flashlight. So uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.